You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have someone that everybody in Brockton knows, Ray Yancey from Bayweb Youth Works. Good to see you, Ray. Good to be here. I see you doing all sorts of good work. I see you doing good work at the church and good work at Bayweb, yeah. and it's just nice to have you here. Try to get around. A lot of folks <laughs> very active over at Bayweb, especially right. Youth Works. Youth yeah. Works gives you a lot of energy, I'm sure. Uh, definitely. With young people. Definitely working with young people. They keep me on my toes. That's what I say. I teach at Massasoit. Yeah. And, uh, as long as people are young, maybe I'll stay young. Yeah, there you go. That's there how I go. look at it. Yeah. So Youth Works deals with ages 14 through 24. 24. So right. you're talking 10 year span. 10 year span, yep. Different, very different in terms of development and everything like exactly. that, if you think about it. Exactly. Okay, 14 years old. I remember my first job at 14. Yep. Uh, work permit, all yep. that fun all kind that of stuff. stuff. Yep. And then right now, if you think about it, uh, here in uh, in Brockton, uh, just elected an 18-year-old city councilor. Right. In Fall River, you got a 23-year-old mayor. Right. So uh, <laughs> things are changing. Definitely the young changing. people are taking over. Yeah, right. That's for sure. So that's for sure. What What do you have to let people know about the services that are out there for YouthWorks? Well, what we mainly do is, uh, you know, like I said, we work with that with that age group. We do work readiness training, uh, career training. Uh, we assist them in looking for work, job placement. Uh, we have GED programs, and now they call it high set uh, for alternative education. Uh, we have connections with several of the social service agencies where we can refer the young people there for whatever kind of help. Uh, we get most of our funding through BayWeb itself, which is Bay, you know the uh, Brockton Workforce uh, Investment Board, but we also get funding through uh, ComCorp, um, the uh, Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, uh, the Workforce uh, Innovation and Opportunity Act, otherwise known as WIOA. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where we get a lot of our funding through them, which makes it possible for us to do what we do with these young people. And basically that funding comes through when people pay their taxes and their unemployment taxes, yeah, that yeah. the money comes back That's right. and can be put to good use. And be put to good use, It's exactly. not just to you know, take money for the Commonwealth and right. stick it in the Treasury. Right. Okay? It's right. to help people. Yeah. Um, so the Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board right. is the city of Brockton and nine other communities. Right. Okay? Yeah. We're, we're watched in Brockton, so we're not going to worry as much about the other communities. <laughs> the other communities yeah. right. But you just kind of draw a circle around Brockton. And yeah, that's and that's basically area. it. Yeah. Um, now, what do you get to do yourself? What 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 is what is your role, Ray? Well, and, and 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 how you're an inspirational guy. So how do you inspire these young people? I beat them up. No, no not no. really. <laughs> uh, my main job there was to uh, I facilitated all of the work training. Mm -hmm. uh, the job readiness training and so forth. Um, now it's just going out, getting the young kids, the young uh, folks to come in to take advantage of the jobs that we have. Mm -hmm. And we're constantly always looking for employers who are willing uh, to take these young people on uh, as interns with the internships that we have set up. Uh, like right now we're working on uh, what they call it the year-round employment program. Uh, where uh, it's similar to the summer program, but now we do this one that goes through the winter. So uh, we have right now, we have about 12 to 14 employers that are, uh, we're trying to place about 28 kids. So we're always looking for more employers so that we can put more kids in an internship so they can get that experience, what it is to work. Now, the internship is, the, the money for that comes from from the organization, from so the works, employers right. aren't taking money out no, of their pocket no. to pay kids. Right, exactly. So they're in essence, they're getting free labor. Mm -hmm. You know, we have some that are, uh, the way they break it down is uh, non-profits. Mm -hmm. uh, we split, like a, we do a 50-50 split. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, the private businesses, I guess you can call them, yeah. uh, we pick up the 100%. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I would have actually thought it was the other way around, but that's okay. Right. Um, now, they're, they get paid through 
the organization. Right. So you, you, even if the organization gives you money, yeah. the paycheck has uh, uh, web on yeah, it. Right? So it still says uh, youth works okay. on the check. And that's a good thing for an employer because if you're a small business like me, we've done the summer program. Right. Um, we can't take on another employee because if we go over a certain amount, there's all sorts of different rules and right. regulations that exactly. apply. It gets complicated. Some things you got to be under 10. Some right. things you got to be under 50. Right. Not that you don't want those rules to apply, but it gets complicated. It the does. paperwork. Right. When you're a small business. Small businesses <laughs> yeah. uh, have it. I think they have it harder. No, they do. Okay? They do. Yeah. You don't have your HR department to deal with. You don't have your payroll department get to be everything all at once. Right. So, what are some of the businesses that uh, take the kids in Brockton? Do you want to? Uh, I yeah. know you probably don't want to single anyone out or leave anybody out, but who well, are your regulars? I mean, we have obviously uh, uh, Brockton Housing. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're a big one. Uh, even the mayor's office, we we have people over there. So, a lot of the city government, mm -hmm. you know, we get help from. Uh, then we have. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of private businesses, uh, such as, boy, I, you know, I would know them off the top of my head any other time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, there's, like, organizations like uh, uh, Hope for Children. Okay. Um, there's an organization called Let's Write Life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they do a lot of journalistic work. Um, we have, uh, wow. That's it, okay. Yeah. You have a website. Oh, yeah. That people can go look at all this stuff and get more information. They can get what it all is it? there. All right, it's www.baywib.org forward slash youth. Youth. Yeah. Well, you couldn't, couldn't ask for better one th right. than that. And, uh, and we also have Facebook, too. Okay. All yeah. right, and that's uh, on uh, www.facebook.com forward slash Brockton.youthworks. Okay. Um, and you have people that work there with you. You're right now, now I understand Baywood bought the building mm -hmm. that you're in, so right. now it's your own building. Right. And YouthWorks is right in the Baywood yeah. building on, on the side? No, we're downstairs now. We just moved just the moved. beginning of November. Okay. We're down in the lower level. We switched with CareerWorks. They okay. went upstairs, we went downstairs. Okay. So we have a much bigger facility now. Uh, we have a computer lab, so... Young people can come in, get on the computers. Mm -hmm. They can look at jobs. They can do their resumes. Uh, so it's, it's just a much friendlier atmosphere. We're not all closed in together. Okay. Everything's nice and bright and comfortable. There you go. Now, yeah. what's the youngest someone? Can someone work at 14? Uh, they can get into the, uh, there's a volunteer program okay. that we have for the 14-year-olds. Yeah. What it does is it, breaks them in for when they turn 16, okay. that they can get into the regular program. It's almost like they get almost first shot because they've been in the program. Yeah, they are, they're, they're already, they're ready, already to, there. ready to go. Right. Work ready. Right. Exactly. Right. Um, phone number over yeah. there if people want to be old-fashioned, they don't want to go to the website right. or Facebook? It's 508-584-9800. Yeah. 9800, great. Um, anything I missed? We got a little less than a minute. Anything no, you want to add? Or? I think we covered it all. Just, you know, we're looking for more employers. That's a big thing. If we can get more employers, they can call, say they'd like to talk to us about the program. I'll come out, or one of the other reps will come out, and we'll sit down and talk to them about it. And I'm sure they'll be happy with it. Okay, well, we're going to get you back here another time. We're going to do a little public service announcement, a quick one, and we'll Put it on TV and we'll get you some more employers. That sounds good. Thanks, Ray. Thank Thanks you very you. much. Okay. Okay. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.